Dragonflies, check. Ladybugs, check. Wasps, bees, and hornets, check. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. I guess it's time to do butterflies. Butterflies can be found all over the world, except for one continent, the continent of Antarctica. Hey, guess what? There are about 17,500 species of butterflies. Even if you were to find 10 different species every day, it would still take you over three years to find them all. That's a lot of butterflies. Butterflies are actually insects. And being an insect means they have six legs, a set of antennae, and three parts to their body. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Adult butterflies have large, colorful wings with many different patterns. When you see a butterfly, you might think it only has two wings, but actually they have four. Well, butterflies have been around for over 56 million years. Wait, how old are your parents? Is that like their age? Actually, they're pretty old, so I have no idea. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. <laughs> wow, thanks, Quinn. Jeez. Well, butterflies have four different stages in their life cycle. The egg, the caterpillar, the pupa, and the adult. This process is named metamorphosis. It comes from the Latin words that mean changing shape. First, an adult female lays her eggs on a plant. Some eggs hatch in a few days, others in a few months, but the average is eight days. And when the egg hatches, a small caterpillar inches out. It eats the eggshell first, then it starts eating the plant. Only one in every 100 butterfly eggs survives and hatches. The rest are either eaten or killed by diseases. You've probably seen caterpillars before, especially in the grass, and trees, and in gardens. They usually grow very quickly. And this is the part of the life cycle when most of the eating and growing happens for a butterfly. Caterpillars are basically eating machines. The caterpillar's insides grow but not its outside. When a caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the covering splits and is shed very similar to a snake. A caterpillar will shed its skin five times, then moves on to the pupa stage. This is the third stage of the lysol. <laughs> Life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. Life cycle. This is the third stage of the life cycle. She got it! <laughs> Jeez, it seemed like it took a life cycle to get through that part, Quinn. But this is when the caterpillar creates a cocoon and becomes a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, a lot of changes are happening. The pupa is growing six legs a proboscis, antennae, and even the wings. At first, their wings are wet and crinkled. But an hour or so later, the wings are straight, dry, and strong enough for the butterfly to fly away. I wish I had arms, that would have made more sense. <laughs> Butterflies have their skeletons on the outside of their body. This is called the exoskeleton and it protects their inner bodies so their moisture does not dry out. So what do butterflies eat? I like hamburgers. Think they like hamburgers? <laughs> I'm not sure, Gus. <laughs> wow, you really thought that answer through? <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing, Gus. They definitely don't eat hamburgers. Most adult butterflies will drink nectar from flowers that they live near. They may also eat pollen, tree sap, and even something that they love, 
rotting fruit. Butterflies taste with their feet and use their long tongue like a straw. <laughs> this is called a proboscis, and they will suck up the nectar with their tongue. Butterflies can see colors green, red, and yellow. This helps because stop moving. This helps because butterflies are attracted to flowers. <laughs> <laughs> to flowers that are pink, purple, red, orange, white, and yellow. What's so funny? That's just colors. And unlike the caterpillar stage, adult butterflies only eat liquid because it's hard for a butterfly to suck up leaves and solid food with their tongue. Do butterflies have any predators? That's another good question, Quinn. Yes, they do, in fact. And these are other insects like wasps and flies. And even frogs, spiders, and birds will go after butterflies. So, how do butterflies protect themselves? That's actually a good question, Quinn. Actually, one of the best ways is actually by using their wings. <laughs> That's right, Gus. Besides using them to fly away from things that are trying to harm them, Butterflies have wings that can camouflage them in their surroundings. Some butterflies use what are called eye spots, and these eye spots are located on their wings in all different areas and sides. These also protect them from predators. Many butterflies are toxic when they are eaten. If a predator eats these butterflies, they can become very sick and even die. And once the predator learns the colors of the butterfly, they know that the colors are dangerous and will usually leave them alone. How long do butterflies live? The average lifespan of a butterfly is around 30 days, but smaller butterflies live for around six to eight days. The monarch butterfly is the only butterfly that can live for around nine months. And female butterflies are usually bigger than male butterflies, and they also happen to live longer too. Do butterflies migrate? <laughs> migrate. Migrate. That's right. She didn't move. She did it. Butterflies, like the monarch butterfly that Cadence mentioned, as well as others, migrate towards places that are warmer. And they do this because they are cold-blooded insects, and they need to move where warmer weather is so that they can live longer. Some butterflies even hibernate during the winter like a bear. Are you a bear? Are you very scared? <laughs> Gus, I have to admit, that was a very bad joke. Anyway, they hibernate in caves, under leaves, inside houses, as well as other warm places. When the weather is cool or cloudy, butterflies will rest hanging upside down with their eyes open because they don't have eyelids. Hmm, sounds familiar. But they have something called tarsi. These are like claws that help them grip to the leaves or twigs so they can do this. And here's our final fact. Many think butterflies got their name because they would fly around buckets of milk on farms. And while the milk was being churned into butter, people would notice these colorful flying insects flying all around. And soon they were being called butterflies. Hey, guess what? Now you know all about butterflies. Butterflies, check. Please subscribe. Bye! Bye.